Hello, friends. Thank you so much for joining me. It's Call Me Cookie here on Tuesday evening, December 19th. What we'll do is quickly run through exactly how to open, close, and manage a perpetual position on Drift. If you aren't familiar with Drift, I encourage you to check them out. They're a very feature-rich, decentralized exchange on Solana. They have a ton of things to offer, like perpetuals, of course, spot, you can do lending and borrowing. They have some LP positions that you can put on and more, <laughs> more. There's a lot going on with Drift and they've been getting a lot of attention. So definitely check them out. Before we start our demonstration, I do want to point out that I'm in America and by default, I'm blocked from accessing Drift. So what I need to do is connect to my VPN. So I already subscribed to a VPN service. Right now, Drift thinks that I'm in Costa Rica. No, that doesn't mean that it's illegal for us to access Drift. It's just that Drift, for the sake of protecting themselves from certain liabilities and legal scrutinies, they've put in the geoblock. But again, that's what VPN is for. For the sake of our demonstration, I made a Drift demo account. I put $100 in here, and that's what we'll use to do all of our trading. As you can see, there's a bunch of really cool UI stuff here that you can poke around with so that you can understand what's going on with your trade performance. In the upper left-hand corner, let's click on Trade, Perpetuals. And I saw the price of Bonk is down about 11. It's been teetering between being down 11 and 12% today. I'm going to put on a short. A short just means that I'm betting on the price of the Bonk token going down. And if I were to want to bet on the price of Bonk going up, I would put on a long. But we're going to put on a short today. Take a look in the upper left-hand corner, and you'll notice that the market's name is 1mbonk-perp. Every one share of this perp is 1 million bonk. So down here, if I have a size at 10, I'm buying 10 million bonk. So just bear that in mind. Right now, the price of 1 million bonk is $19. It's just easier for us to conceptualize purchasing them by the million. Just visually, I can see that the price of bonk has the potential to continue to go down. So for our demonstration, we're going to put on a short. I'm going to look over to the left-hand side. I'm going to select short, and I'm going to think about how much I want to bet. I have $100 in this account, and I don't use any leverage. Leverage is using the house's money to potentially increase your ability to gain. But remember, that potentially increases your losses if the, if the direction of the market moves against you. We'll only make a bet using our money. I'm going to bet $50 on the price of Bonk continuing to move downward. I want to think of exactly how I'm going to open up my position. That's going to bring us to our order type. I'm going to go over briefly the most basic two. We have a market price. And as the name implies, when we execute this order for $50 worth of Bonk token, whatever amount of Bonk I can get with $50 according to the others in the market, that's what I'll take. Now, what allows you to have a little bit more control about the way that your position opens and closes is using something like a limit order. A limit order allows me to say, hey, I'll buy $50 worth of bonk, but at this set price. If the token price doesn't hit my limit, I won't get filled. And that gives us a lot more control. Let's go ahead and open up our order. We'll set a market order short $50. Now, again, that's us betting $50 that the price of bonk will continue to go down. In the lower left hand corner, we're going to execute our trade. What you guys won't see on screen is that my phantom wallet opened up and asked me to confirm the blockchain transaction. I confirm that. And what we'll see here in a few moments is that our order was here in the order screen, but very quickly it popped up in our position. So now we can see that our bonk position is open. Our position size is 2 million bonk and we have our entry price the exact price that our position opened is at 1895 roughly then we have the mark price 
if we were to close our position right now, the current market price is around 1894. So we'd actually be at a, a little bit of a loss there. Or we'd actually be at a little bit of a profit, sorry, because the price of Bonk is indeed continuing to go down. If we jump over to the right a little bit, you see that we have PL. There is a little button here that you can click to change the PL metric from, um, from percentage to dollars. And then we have our liquidation price. Make sure that you pay attention to your liquidation price. The price of this market would have to go up to almost $60 per million for me to get washed out of this position. Um, I think that especially considering that we're getting ready to close this trade, our risk of liquidation is pretty low. Then we can see, so we have our positions. We see orders. We don't currently have any order because our order was already fulfilled. We can take a look at the trade. And then we see our unsettled profit and losses. And again, as the name kind of implies, as our position remains open, it will calculate how much profit and loss we would lose or gain if we were to close our position at any given moment. And then we can see our balance. Good stuff. So it looks like we are profiting just a little bit. Let's go ahead and close out this position. For the sake of time, I'm going to do a market close. This is not ideal. As you can see here, I'm going to lose about 16 cents. Who cares? I'm going to click confirm. Again, Phantom popped up and said, hey, do you really want to process this trade? I went ahead and did so. All right, I, as you can see here, now we jump over to our unsettled profit and loss. And yeah, indeed, I lost about 20 cents. No big deal. I'll go ahead and settle up with the house by clicking claim. I got another phantom wallet prompt, and I went ahead and processed that. Let's jump on over to our account overview. And boohoo, I lost 20 cents on this trade today. But what that lets us do is we can look at balances. We can look at portfolio. And god damn, they just make my 20 cent loss look horrible. No open positions. We have our history and all of this other really good stuff on there. So I think I'll wrap it up there. But that's exactly how we are going to open, close, and some of the tools that you can use to manage perpetuals on Drift. So yeah, uh, really quick for you guys there. That is how to open, close, and manage perpetuals on Drift Protocol. If you guys enjoyed the content, please go ahead and drop a like and subscribe so you make sure that you get all of my future content updates. And if you have any questions, go ahead and drop them down below. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. It's been Cookie. Peace.